Hey, it's Biddy Penny. Welcome back to my channel. So this is week two of my junk journal January entries. I'm using a few different ones here. I'm using Stamp It Out, Quote, Dreamy, Sepia, Florals, Positive Vibes, Inspiration. So, but I'm doing them all in one spread. But what's fun is I'm doing that spread out over a few pages. So when I thought of inspiration, I thought of these stamps. If you guys know me, I love Stamping Bella very, very much and um, I'm so glad they're doing these icons I've been collecting them I have Bob Marley I also have Amelia Earhart but they weren't all gonna fit in here so I just picked a few and I am going to stamp these out now clearly these stamps are much larger than the packaging kind of indicates so that's one thing to always know with Stamping Bella if you're looking at them and thinking those are small they're not they're huge and awesome um, I love that they're rubber stamps so you get a great impression so you know this is my journal there's and I'm not using a stamping platform so I really need to get it right um, I did use this which was my thrift store find that I'm loving this Fiskars but you can't really reposition it right it's, a, it's an acrylic block with foam essentially um, but I do love it I am using vintage photo today so I am going to paint and I'm using a Distress Oxide um, because I'm going to paint these sepia, but what I'm going to do is just use the ink. I'm actually not going to bring in any color until later. So I'm just going to stamp these in my Distress Oxide and then use a water, a clean water brush with water in it and just spread the ink color out. So I want to show y'all how I'm doing this. It is so easy. Um, at first I was a little intimidated by the sepia. Um, and definitely you guys, I think these are intended to do like a daily thing, but I can't journal daily. I don't have the time for it. So I just find a way to use the prompts that Meg came up with and do them on a week. So like for this spread, I'm doing sepia. I these people definitely inspire me. This is Muhammad Ali, Frida Kalu, um, uh, Martin Luther King Jr., and Maya Angelou. So very inspirational uh, little oddballs there. And then I brought in each one of these came with their own quotes, which quotes was one of the prompts. So I stamped out their quotes, which you'll see in a little while. But let me explain this. I am just pulling the ink from the stamped image here. This is just a, there's only water on this brush and I'm just pulling the color directly from what's stamped and I'm just dragging it out to fill in the image. You know what this reminds me of a little bit? I don't know if y'all had the coloring books when you were little, but it would be a, um, a coloring book that had dots all over it and then you just get a brush and add water oh my gosh those were my favorite um, which you can probably guess is now I'm an adult and I'm still doing the same thing but that's kind of what these remind me of it's really no way to mess it up unless you like I tried to give very variation so like on Muhammad Ali's gloves on Frida's skirt and different places I, you know on Muhammad's shorts I did try to make some areas more saturated than others. And then now I'm gonna use the same vintage photo so it's the same exact color. I'm gonna pick it up on my brush and kind of bring in and add some more details in, add some shadowing, but I'm wanting to keep it all the same color. What a fun prompt. Like you could definitely find like, you know, anytime you're looking for vintage printables, sepia is, everywhere so that's no problem um, but I encourage you if you're a card maker give this a try I know I've seen before people do a black and white they take a stamped image and they make it look you know kind of like a black and white photo I've never tried that one but this was lots of fun it was my first attempt I think it worked out I'm glad it did because it's going in my journal straight down on the paper um, but I really love it it, it just you know, you've got to try new things and being a little intimidated is a good thing sometimes, you know, um, just trying and pushing yourself and exploring new things. Now that I've done this, 
I'll definitely do it again um, because I realize it's it's really not that difficult. So after I add in these shadows, then what I decided to do is I decided to bring in my watercolors and I'm just picking up a very muted red here and dropping it in. It's still picking up the brown ink because I never colored that. So it's, it's brown with a tint of red and a tint of yellow. Same thing here. Um, I wanted it to look kind of tinted but definitely not colored because I'm wanting to keep that sepia um, look to everything. Like I didn't do all of that for nothing to go back and add a bunch of color and totally ruin it. But I did want to add a little. I mean, look at those flowers. How can we resist? With Maya, Maya added a little too much. You can see Mohammed. I added just a little bit of a rose color to his gloves. And now I'm doing gray for the mic and mic stand for MLK. I went in with a goldish watercolor there. And this green is probably a little strong, but I'm not stressed. This is my journal. <laughs> And then the bird and I love the way they turned out so this is the ephemera that um, I'm trying to use up in my journal and so I want to incorporate it um, florals was another prompt in this so I'm definitely gonna add some florals and I love this bouquet um, to put up at the front which I'll see in just a minute I'm looking and now I'm trying to do the quotes, right? So I'm thinking about the quotes because that was a prompt. And I'm using this little uh, piece of ephemera to see if any of the quotes would fit in there. And the one that fits best is dream, which is perfect for me. Um, <laughs> I know I've said it so many times and you guys know I'm, I'm a dreamer. So, um, I mean, I actually dream about cards and journals but in my sleep, I dream about them. But then I dream in the daytime. I realized a few years ago, I had stopped dreaming. It was a really sad day. I realized I didn't dream anymore. I didn't have dreams for my life. I didn't have dreams for anything. I just didn't dream. And it was like, it was a sad day, but it was a great day because I reclaimed the ability to dream. And I, I have a little sign in my bedroom that reminds me to dream you know it just says dream on it <laughs> a wooden sign but like I reclaimed that in my life and I encourage y'all if you have stopped dreaming for yourself your life and others just get back into it dream wildly for yourself just go for it I really encourage it I love having wild dreams for myself Okay, so I love that, you know, I just decided to only glue down three sides so that I could slip that in there. And you know what's fun about this is it's like a label, right, for a box or whatever. Um, you know, I could go back later and put a different word in there. It would be fun. Like, this is kind of makes it an interactive page where I can go in and put different words. Um, and I think that's fun. All right. Now the quotes. So here are the quotes. They come, each one of these icons came with a couple of quotes or sentiments. Brilliant. Again, I love stamping Bella. Um, so now I'm going to stamp those out. And I was thinking of putting Frida's up there, but then I decided to put it down here. And I'm so glad I did. I love their quotes being next to them and kind of running along this section of the image because I was really wanting to put something between them but I didn't know what and it ended up working out perfectly now this stamp I personally don't think the letters are wide enough in the stamp itself so it's not real clear to read but it's I think it's actually the stamp this time on that one um and then this one is from Maya and that's, they had some other ones that I really wanted to use in there. And I was thinking of 
um, adding them at the top, but I just like the simplicity of this. Really love how the spread is going. So it's working out um, that I'm making this across three pages since I'm only doing a weekly spread. Now here, I love this bouquet very much, but it wasn't fitting on my page right. And so what I decided to do is trim off the extras here and add them back in once I had the flowers kind of where they needed to be. I didn't want them to cover up Muhammad. And so I um, just cut those off and added them back in. Looky there. So you could do that in cards as well if you have a piece of ephemera like this where it's a bouquet and it's just kind of not lining up, but you want to keep it, cut it apart, reassemble it. <laughs> There are no rules. <laughs> and if you don't like it, it's okay. Somebody else will. I'm sure of it. So many times I've made things that I'm not crazy about, I don't really like, and other people do. But the fun thing about this is this is my journal. So only I have to like it. I share it with you guys to inspire you, but I'm the only one that needs to be pleased with it. And that's always freeing. So if you're a card maker, you have all these supplies, you don't journal, consider journaling. Maybe that would help you pass some of the hesitation or questioning that you do for yourself because you're making something to give. If you make something to keep, you might like it a lot more. So I just wrote, we all get a ticket to dream. It has unlimited punches and is equal for all. Um, and my equal went wonky, but I don't care. Again, it's mine. It's my journal. I'm okay with being imperfect. So I'll have an imperfect imper equal. <laughs> and then I had these tickets in my stash. They're from a Tim Holtz stamp and die set, which is just amazing. The final touch are these perfect pearls. One of the prompts was pop of color which I definitely felt like the bouquet added the pop of color and the tickets, but then this goes with them as well. I think it's called Blue Patina. I love my perfect pearls. Again, I really wanted just something to fill in all the white areas, so I splattered between them. I didn't do an end scene, you know, an end uh, for this video, so enjoy what you're seeing now. This is kind of the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I can't wait. I'm almost done with the first half of this journal and this is the 14th of January so it's perfect I think the size is really working out for me and I'm really enjoying this follow hashtag Meg journals for more bye